Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the Cycle Frontier. Uh, we're going to look also at the API. Does it better to run DirectX 11 or 12? We're going to look at this. Uh, also, we're going to start with optimizing Windows. And after that, we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divided by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now the graphic parameter. So the first of all, the first one is the select rendering device. I really recommend to select your graphic card. Uh, it was causing me a lot of issue with crashing when I was trying to run the game in DirectX 12. So super important to select it. And also on my laptop, uh, it was like using the integrate video card when I had like a 1050 from NVIDIA. 
Uh, so super important, select your video card over there. The display mode, I recommend to go with full screen. Uh, it's better for uh, FPS and also less stuttering. Also, if you want to use the image scaler from NVIDIA or AMD, you will need this. For the resolution, I recommend to play native. So in my case, it's 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. Really depend on your resolution. If you want to use the image scaler, this is where you will lower your resolution and your driver from your video card will scale it back. Um, so if you want to do that, this is pretty much there. Resolution scaling, I don't recommend to touch that. Just go with 100 and use the image scaler from AMD or NVIDIA if you need that. If not, don't touch it. If you lower this, you will see that your image quality will decrease rapidly. Image sharpening, go with zero. Max FPS, I just play unlimited. Um, the, the air, it really depends on your computer. If you have issue with your thermal, don't go too crazy with your FPS because you, you're going to get some random drop and you will not understand why because your CPU or your GPU will start to throttle because you will have too much heat in your computer. So for example, if you have a 60 Hertz screen, maybe you, you can lock your FPS at 90 or even 60 if you just want to run 60. So question of preference. For FOV, if you're playing at 100, you will lose a lot of FPS. So if you're going at 80, as you can see in the background, you will more zoomed in in the game, so less stuff to render. So again, it's a question of preference. Can like you run the game at... Do, do you want to run the game at 100, 90, or 80? If you have like a really good computer, just go with uh, 100. Some people just go maximum with their FOV and they put everything at low. So uh, it's more like do you want to try hard or you prefer a decent image quality. After that, we're going to lower over there. Auto detect, make sure this one is at off. Video quality, make sure this one is at custom. So draw distance, I recommend to go with medium. I and Epic, it's taking a lot of resources. It's a big like open map. Uh, for each bracket, you can save like 4% in your FPS. So at medium, you will gain a nice 8% boost in your FPS. Low is a little bit too low for me. You know, you, you want to see the enemy and medium seems to be a good spot for FPS and also to see the enemies. Shadow quality, this one is super important. Epic to low, you can get a nice 18% boost in your FPS. This is the first per parameter that you should put at low and test your FPS. Post-processing quality, I recommend also to go with low. You will get a nice 8% boost in your FPS, but it's more for your visual clarity. So it will be more clear when you play the game without like noise in your image. So super important to go with low. Texture quality, go with Epic. If you have something like 6 gig and more of VRAM, go with Epic. If you have like 8 gig, uh, 8 gig, 4 gig of VRAM, go with I, 3 gig medium. And if you have less than 3 gig of VRAM, go with low. Visual effect quality, it's question again of preference. Do you prefer like to have like clear image? You just want to try hard and kill pe people in PvP? If the answer is yes, go with low. If you want a decent image quality, medium is pretty good. Uh, you don't lose too much of FPS. I saw a difference of 1% between both. Uh, and you're getting uh, some cool effect also. It's a little bit better when you're fighting and stuff. But uh, it really depends on what you want to do and also what kind of computer that you are using. For sure, if you're playing on an integrate GPU, I really recommend to go with low for this one. Foliage, uh, you can expect a nice 2% boost for each bracket. If you want pure visibility, go with low. It will be better to see enemies. If you want like a better image quality, go with medium. The game will look less flat uh, because you will see when you put the foliage at low, the game looks very flat. After that, you have V-Sync. I recommend to go with off if you have free sync or G-Sync. If you have, you don't have those technology and you don't like your uh, screen tiering when you're playing the game, you can activate V-Sync, but it will add input lag on your game. Uh, show FPS. This is where you can check if you want to see your FPS at top right. Also, you can use the Steam uh, version of it. Uh, it's always good because you want to see when you modify something, does it improve or uh, do you have more or less FPS, you know? So this is where you can change it. The API Direct DirectX 12, this one is a bit tricky. I did a couple of tests. Uh, I'm getting like 8% boost in, in the FPS, but it's taking like 10 to 12% more in my VRAM. So if you have like a modern computer with a lot of VRAM, go with DirectX 12, performance is better. 
Um, it seems to be uh, have some kind of issue right now. A lot of people is crashing in DirectX 12, so DirectX 11 seems to more be more stable. Uh, me, I had a lot of issue with it, but when I select my rendering device here with my video card, uh, everything was good after that, so I can easily run DirectX 12. So. Uh, if you have a like a six years old computer, don't go with DirectX 12. It's more like for people with brand new computer. Uh, it will be a little bit better with your FPS. I don't recommend to use motion blur for your image clarity. Um, Multi-thread rendering over there, I recommend to use it. It can help. Uh, it can use like one thread uh, to, to, to help to run the game. Uh, if you're crashing with this, just remove it removing it i know some uh, people with the amd processor have issue for me i have a 5900x series and i don't have an issue with it but if you're using that and you're crashing randomly for sure test this put it put this at off and make sure that your direct x is at 11 also so off over here and you, you should be fine to run the game the last one is the gpu crash debugging for uh, them uh, they want to know like when you're crashing you know, what kind of issue and what kind of gpu that you're using uh they, they they're gonna push a lot of patches for the next two or three weeks to make sure that the game is stabilized because i see a lot of people is crashing in this game so this is pretty much it guys for the guide if you have any question just come in, in the youtube section post me your rig cpu gpu and ram i will try to help you the best that i can and don't forget to subscribe to the channel Peace.